Okay, I'm going to uh, use this video to show you some of the ways that you can use music in the UHF Pro by Happy Amp. And um, so here's the display on the side of the UHF Pro. Um, we should be able to see the screen just fine. If not, I can always shut off the backlight. So I'm going to do that um, because I think it makes it a little bit clearer on the video here. Okay, so I have two SD cards that I am going to be uh, using to show you how you can use the music in the UHF Pro. I'm going to switch this over to um, USB so it's on something other than SD. I'm going to take a card. This one has some music on it. Actually, it has some of Arthur Stead's royalty-free music, wonderful music. And you'll see that it switches over to the SD because it recognizes that an SD card was put in, and it starts to play track number one automatically. Now, let's say we shut off the unit, remove the card, we turn the power back on, and now this is how it always starts up without the um, top left corner of the screen being uh, lit up because I haven't yet selected FM, USB, or SD. So it is turned off. And I insert an SD card. Notice that they go in upside down. And it goes in about halfway. So I insert an SD card. It will not do anything. It won't start to automatically play. If I turn on the... Um, USB now, it doesn't start to play automatically because I'm on USB, and then I go to SD, and now it starts to recognize that there is music in there. Okay, so that is one way that that can be done. I also have the remote. Um, granted, this is not the world's greatest remote, but it works. It's a infrared remote. It has its own volume, so you can see the volume going down, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then the volume going back up. Okay, that is a separate volume than this volume control. You see if I turn this, we're adjusting the main volume. That would adjust the volume of everything. If I press this volume knob once, the volume starts to flash for the USB um, MP3 auxiliary volume starts to flash. Okay, so I can adjust that and that's going to adjust the auxiliary input and anything plugged in over here. Once I let it go and wait till it stops flashing, it is going to um, go back to being able to adjust the main volume. Okay, now I have mic priority turned off, so if I turn on my microphone, now I'm wearing a headset microphone, and I turn on my microphone, and mic pri priority is off, the music is going to stay exactly the same. It's going to be just as loud, no matter what I do with my voice. Um, if I turn mic priority on, I'm going to turn up the volume so you can hear what happens. My voice will get priority. All right, so I turn on mic priority, and now, anytime I speak, that volume of that music goes down. When I stop, it comes back up again. So I can do volume adjust. Now I start to speak and that volume is going to go down so that I can talk over it automatically and when I stop it goes back up. Okay, I shut my microphone back off again. And now I can use the remote to pick a track. Say I want to play track 7. I'm going to press 7 and it goes to track 7 and starts to play track 7. Okay. This is the timing. It's not instantaneous. This is not really made to replace uh, a, an amazing device like the Ultimate Control. So if I press 5, now it goes. It takes a few seconds of thinking about it, and then it goes to the track that you press. Okay? Uh, 15. And that's why, because you can use two digits. So if I just press 1, I might be going to 12, so it has to wait for me to finish inputting uh, what I want to put in. So here on the remote, I have play and pause. I can pause the music right where it is and resume playing. I can also skip ahead to the next track, track 2, or skip back to track 1. 
I, there's even a folder, plus 10 and minus 10. If I hit plus 10, you'll see we're on track one right now. I hit plus 10, it's going to go to 11. So it goes up 10 files. So if we go to 12, and I hit minus 10, it's going to go down to 2. Okay, if there's other folders, it'll skip to the other folder. So if you have pre-show music playing, and then the next folder down is um, uh, your show music, you would hit the folder button, and it would skip to the next folder and start playing track 1. So there you go, there's a little tutorial giving you some ideas of things that you can do with the um, SD card or USB slot in the UHF Pro by Happy Amp. And thank you Arthur Stead for the wonderful music, the royalty free music that you can get at ArthurStead.com. Okay, now there's more that you can do with the SD or USB than just play music. I have the radio in there as well. Okay, I'm going to pull this card out and I'm going to put a blank card in. Now you'll see that when I put the blank, it says no F, that means no file. Um, so it is a blank card. However, I'm going to turn my microphone back on again and I am going to press AB mic auxiliary record and then it says record on the screen. I'm going to press it again one time and it will actually begin recording. Zero, zero, zeros. So it has started recording. Everything that I say is going into a file on that SD card. It is not show quality. It is perfect though for when you want to go back and remember what lines you used, what worked, what made people laugh, what didn't and go back and review your performance as an entertainer or a public speaker. Um, even if you want to uh, keep notes or anything as a teacher, something like that, it works very well. And then um, you can just stop it by hitting the stop button here. And that um, track is now on there. So if I shut off my microphone, recording, zero, zero, zeros. So it has started recording Everything that I say is going into a file. So there's that file, file number one.